Hello, hello, the name's Antar, and for those of you who have just recently subscribed after seeing my PMP beta upload, welcome. For those of you who are loyal subscribers and have been subscribed for months, if not years, welcome back. For the rest of you, why haven't you subscribed? Come on, I need more subscribers. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so I've got a special treat for you today. Two battles with a brand new team. Okay, it's actually not that new. I've had it for a few months, and these battles are actually a few months old, but it's new to you, and that's the important thing. Anyway, there are you battles with a team that I made with my good friend Jade Hex. Uh, there are you battles, uh, and my opponent for this one is FurritFan450. Met him, not sure where I met him, doesn't matter where I met him. The point is, I'm gonna lead off with my Quillfish, get off the Intimidate against his Audino, like that matters, and I'm gonna go ahead and set up Spikes. Not really sure what his Audino is gonna do, but knowing it can't Toxic me. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and set up the Reflect, so I'm like, okay, it's probably a dual screener, that's fine. I wasn't planning on using any attacking moves against Audino anyway. He switches out his Audino at this point, switches in his Torterra, and I'm like, that's great, another round of Spikes for me. Uh, but I'm going to have to switch out next turn because I am going to fear the Earthquake and I really can't do any damage to this guy considering the fact that he is behind a Reflect and Torterra is also fairly bulky, blah blah blah. So Tuesday, my Quillfish is switched out and I go ahead and send out Gargon, my uh, Tangela, my Eviolite Tangela, which I know will be able to resist any of his moves and indeed I block a Leech Seed, excellent for me. I have nothing to fear, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Hidden Power Fire. He could have switched out right there, but I figured he might have wanted to stay and see how much his attacks could do. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, have a, I must be going through puberty. Uh, he goes ahead and sets up Stealth Rocks this turn. Fairly predictable. I really should have predicted the switch on the next turn, because now that he's set up his Stealth Rocks, I know he has Leech Seed, he probably doesn't have anything to hit me with. A switch is the obvious move. And, indeed, he swaps in his Mag Mortar, but you know what, that's fine by me. I'm pretty sure I actually do predict some kind of switch and go for the Giga Drain just for the maximum amount of damage. Uh, that's not really going to do much to him. Actually, no, that's not true. It does a fair amount because I get an unfortunate crit. I'm really sorry about for it. I'm really sorry about that for it, Fan450. Gonna go ahead and predict a Fire Blast, switch in to George III, uh, a slow king. Ha ha ha, I'm so clever! Fire Blast is not gonna do very much to me, but judging by how much it does, well actually, I, no, I was gonna say that it was Specs, but I really doubt that, that that's actually the case. Maybe he's Specs, I don't know, I could run the counts, um, and maybe you'll see them in the annotations. Uh, otherwise I was lazy. Anyway, he switches in Audino at this point, predicting me to use a special move, uh, and I need to use a very special move, Skull. Uh, it, I don't think a burn is going to help me, and in fact it'll mean that I can't put him to sleep or do other things to him. So I'm glad I didn't get the burn, uh, and if I had, he could have just heal belled it away anyway, so it's all good in the hood. I'm going to go ahead and switch Tuesday back out, wanting to get up my third layer of spikes, really thinking he doesn't have a spinner. The Intimidate is going to obviously be wasted against his Audino. Uh, Audino's gonna go ahead and set up a light screen just to have both screens up. Good for him. Not a bad move. And it's interesting at this point, we must be like 12 turns in. Neither of us have gotten a KO. Uh, I love these kinds of battles where there's, there's just a lot of swapping and a lot of setting up and there's no KOs for a long time and then suddenly, bam, everything happens. Not saying that that's gonna happen in this match, but I love those kinds of matches. Gonna go ahead and set up my third layer of spikes as he switches his Torterra back out and here I decide I'm just going to leave in Tuesday, see what happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can take one Earthquake. Tuesday is, a, I believe it's 252 HP, 252 defense, but I'm not 100% positive about that. Anyway, he's actually going to switch here. Going to go ahead and switch in actually to his Mag Mortar, predicting my switch into Tangra, Tangela, which would have been smart. Instead, I stayed in, go for the Poison Jab, and his poor, poor... Poor Mag Mortar. Critted on twice. But you know what? You can't really say that crit mattered. I would have aqua jetted him the next turn, or he would have died to residual spikes damage if he'd switched out again. So, eh, it's hacks, but did it really matter? I don't think so. Anyway, his he gets a free switch into Sharpedo. His Sharpedo is going to go ahead and Earthquake, which is going to do a hell of a lot of damage, considering it is super effective and whatnot. 
Uh, he is Life Orb, which is interesting. I'm gonna go for the Poison Jab here, just because it's the attack of mine that'll do the most damage. I think that- no, that wasn't a crit, so that's actually excellent. He's down to very little HP. I have no idea what happened. So on this next turn, so he gets a speed boost, this is obviously a speed boost, yeah, sad. I have no idea why I switched out here instead of going for the Aqua Jet. He has so little health, I could have KO'd. Anyway, I go ahead and send out Gargon. Oh, I think I was predicting him to Aqua Jet, thinking that I would Aqua Jet, and so he died a Life Orb, uh, and blah blah blah, never mind, he dies to Life Orb anyway, and my Gargon really takes minimal damage. He's gonna go ahead and send his Audino back out, gonna take a lot of damage from those spikes, although nothing that a, uh, a switch out could cure. Gonna go ahead and get off the sleep powder that's gonna put him to sleep, which is nice. Now he can't heal bell, what have you, I don't know why he would heal bell. And he was gonna go ahead and switch out. Gonna go ahead and switch out to Hatterak, my Steelix who replaced Dragonair on this team. Uh, for those of you who are loyal subscribers, you'll recognize this Hatterak. It's uh, the same build, although a slightly different set than the one that's on my doubles team. Anyway. Uh, he uses Heal Bell and he wakes up. That's not, that's actually just a coincidence. I'm actually not sure why he used Heal Bell. I think it might have been a misclick. Don't remember what he said, but he doesn't have any Pokemon that could benefit from that. Anyway, he's gonna go ahead and switch out to his Alma Mula, uh, as I go ahead and set up the Stealth Rocks. So now, I've got three layers of spikes, I've got Stealth Rocks, and I've got a Dragon, uh, not a Dragon, uh, I've got a Steelix on the field, and my Steelix knows Dragon Tail. So now is the time where I can just hit him a whole bunch. I hit his team a whole bunch of times. I've got the sturdy. Uh, don't have to worry about anything. Gonna go ahead and dragon tail and just chalk up a whole bunch of residual damage. His Hitmonlee comes out. Uh, is going to get a lot of damage from those uh, spikes, a little bit of damage uh, from the Stealth Rocks, and he's going to go ahead and go for the High Jump Kick. It misses, which is an awful bit of hacks for him because it takes so much damage out on him. But, keep in mind, he soaked me. I'm Water-type. I'm not weak to High Jump Kick anymore. But he got really pissed at this point because he was like, oh, there's all, all this hacks, you're using a cheap strategy. And so now he sends out his Torterra and he's going to forfeit. So I can't say I was particularly happy about this, but you know, this is kind of an annoying team. I'll, I will admit, I'll be the first to admit, and I don't blame him for forfeiting. So that is how it, it is how it goes. Great game for it, fan 450. I hope to battle you again.